Hi guys, welcome to Cup of Teach. Today we're going to discuss addition and subtraction of radical expressions. In addition and subtraction of radical expression, we should categorize it if it is like radicals or unlike radicals. Like radicals if they have the same index and same radicand. Unlike radicals if they have the same index but different radicands or same radicand but different indices. Let's have here an example. 3 square root of 5 and 7 square root of 5. Look at the indices. The index of this is 2. Automatically, meron tayong 2 dito. And the other one is also 2. So they have the same index. Look at the radicands. The radicand of this is 5. The other one is 5. Therefore, they have the same index and same radicand. This is considered as like radicals. Another example, 9 cube root of xy and 3 cube root of xy. Look at the indices, they are the same. Look at the radicand, they are also the same. Therefore, this is also an example of like radicals. Let's go to unlike radicals. 3 square root of 7 and 7 square root of 5. Look at the indices. The index of this is 2. The other one is also 2. So they have the same index. But look at the radicands. The radicand of this is 7. The other one is 5. Therefore, they are unlike radicals. Another, 3 square root of 7 and 4 cube root of 7. Look at the indices. The index of this is 2. The other one is 3. So they are different in indices. Even though they have the same radicand, it is considered as unlike radicals. Always remember, if the indices and radicands are the same, this is like radicals. We can add or subtract the radicals. If the indices or radicands are not the same, this is unlike radicals. You cannot add or subtract the radicals. Let's have an example. 3 square root of 5 plus 4 square root of 5. Look at the indices. They have the same index. We have here 2 and the other one is also 2. They have the same radicand. Therefore, this is like radicals. We can combine or we can add them. So you just add 3 plus 4. You just copy the radical square root of 5. Then simplify. That is 7 square root of 5. Number 2. 9 cube root of xy plus cube root of xy. Same ang index, same ang radicand. Therefore, we can combine it. So that is 9 plus 1. Automatically, we have here 1. And just copy cube root of xy. Simplify 9 plus 1. That is 10. You just copy cube root of xy. Number 3, 5 square root of 3 minus 9 square root of 3. Same ang index, same din ang radicand. Therefore, we can combine them. So, 5 minus 9, you just copy square root of 3. 5 minus 9 is negative 4, just copy square root of 3. Number 4, 10, fifth root of A minus fifth root of A. Same on index, which is 5. Same on radicand, which is A. Therefore, we can combine them. So that is 10 minus 1. Just copy 5th root of A. 10 minus 1 is 9. You just copy 5th root of A. Number 5. 8 is square root of 7 minus 6 is square root of 7 plus 12 is square root of 7. Look at the indices. They have the same index. Look at the radicands. They have the same radicand. Therefore, we can combine them. So that is 8 minus 6 plus 12. You just copy is square root of 7. So 8 minus 6, that is 2. Plus 12, just copy is square root of 7. 2 plus 12, that is 14. You just copy is square root of 7. Number 6, 5 square root of y plus 7 square root of x 
minus 3 is square root of 5. Look at the indices. They have the same index. Look at the radicand. This is y. The other one is x. And the last one is y. So, sino ang pwede natin i-combine? C5 square root of y and negative 3 is square root of 5. So, that is 5 minus 3. He just copy square root of 5. And then, since ang 7 square root of x ay wala siyang kapareho, he just copy. Then, simplify natin ang 5 minus 3. That is 2. He just copy square root of 5 and copy plus 7 is square root of x. So, hindi sila po pwedeng i-combine kasi magkaiba sila ng radicands. Therefore, this is the final answer. Number 7. Square root of 8 plus square root of 18 minus square root of 32. Ang 8, 18, at 32 are not perfect squares. Therefore, hindi natin siya po pwedeng isimplify unless pwede natin siyang i-factor. So, ang 8, 18, at 32 ay pwede siyang i-factor. Just think of the factors wherein one factor is a perfect square. So, ang 8, that is 4 times 2. Ang 18, 9 times 2. Ang 32, 16 times 2. So, yung 4, 9, and 16 are perfect squares. So, pwede na natin isimplify. Square root of 4, that is 2. You just copy square root of 2. Square root of 9, that is 3. You just copy square root of 2. 16, square root of 16 ay 4. You just copy square root of 2. Don't forget to write the operations. And then, mapapansin nyo, pare-pareho na sila ng radicands. Same din ang indices. Therefore, pwede na tayong mag-combine. So, 2 plus 3 minus 4, we just copy square root of 2. 2 plus 3, that is 5. Minus 4, square root of 2. So, 5 minus 4, that is 1. And then, copy lang yung square root of 2. Automatic, meron tayo ditong 1. Pero hindi na siya nilalagay. So, the final answer is square root of 2. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!